The long closed border between Detroit and Gross Point Park will soon be open, and this change is about more than traffic getting through. It's change that has been a long time coming. Detroit and Gross Point Park have been talking about this for the better part of a year and a half. We're talking about Kerchival at Weyburn, an intersection that's been closed, creating a barrier between the two communities. Larry Spruill is live with how that is about to change. Hi, Larry. Good evening, Karen and Jason. Right now, I am in the city of Detroit, but if you take a couple of steps this way, I am in now Gross Point. For years, the two cities have been separated by these large flower pots and then this roundabout right over here. But soon, all of this will be gone. But it has mixed reactions from neighbors. Helen Dennis calls the Gross Point Business District home. Her store, Best Way, sits in the heart of Gross Point. Five days a week, she's open for business. I do um, shipping. I do UPS, FedEx. She does it all and seen it all as well. The one thing in her view. Yes, <laughs> we have the roundabout. The roundabout borders the city of Gross Point and Detroit. It's confusing. Would be nice if it just went away. And she's getting her way. Uh, Kirchfeld and um, Ultra Road, we have a two-way street opening now. There was a barricade that we didn't like before they put up. Tuesday, Detroit City Council agreed to remove the barricade. Councilman Andre Spivey tells me it's been something both cities, Detroit and Gross Point, have been talking about for a while now. Uh, we've been dealing with this almost like maybe three or four years now. Uh, we all woke up to barns being put up uh, to block the Gross Point interest uh, on Kirchville. Uh, the barns came down. There were large uh, pots put up there. So now all those things coming down. Neighbors and city leaders tell me the border all started with these larger farmer market barns. Then the huge flower pots replaced them. Recently, they removed both of those items for this roundabout. Neighbors say the borders was seen as a racial divide at times. But both Gross Point and Detroit says it's time to break down those barriers. Uh, we know a lot is going on across the country. We don't need that in our area here. That would be exceptional for business. Um, I do get a lot of people from Detroit that come in also. So it would just be fantastic. Yeah, so once again, I did mention that not everyone is happy about this decision. I did speak to one neighbor and he tells me that he wants the barriers to stay simply for the fact that it would keep the minorities out. But in the meantime, all of this is supposed to start coming down in August. We're live in Gross Point Park tonight. Larry Sproul, Local 4.